This is the new data transfer software number three from Siconic. What this allows you to do is use the new color checkers, uh, the color checker passport, to create a profile. Uh, you can enter custom settings, you can use user settings, and you can update uh, profiles. Every camera and lens sensor combination is different. So you want to match your meter and your camera together. That's called profiling. And what that allows you to do is when you measure light with your meter, it's going to give you the correct information so that your camera can take that information and expose properly. Without them being profiled, uh, it won't expose properly. So in the past, you've had to uh, use Siconics targets that were made by x -Rite. Well, now we can go in several different ways. We can go in advanced mode and use multiple light sources or flash. Uh, or we're just going to the quick mode just to show you what I'm talking about. Again, x -Rite used to make these targets for Siconic. There's the version 1, there's the version 2, and then now they have an option for the version 3. You can use your passport, your classic, or your mini. What you have to do is you'll have to select images, uh, you know, underexposed, middle exposure, and overexposed. Um, four images is the maximum you can use to make your target uh, if you use this color checker. So we're going to select next after we select the passport. I've created some images. So now we're going to input the variables that we selected when we created the profile, which are we were ISO 100 and then incident the shutter speed was 125, reflected 125, aperture was 5.6. So we'll click next. Now it's going to ask for the images. There's my three EV brackets. Okay. So here we are. It's middle plus and minus three EV. Okay. So we'll click next. And what what this will do is this will allow us to line the crop marks. So we have to bring these crop marks in so that the software knows exactly where it's looking. So we're going to bring these in here. And it, once you get it set up on the first one, it will read the next without a problem. So you just click on it and click on it. So it's got all three. And now we're going to click next and analyze the data. Okay, so here's the curve. And it's showing me my dynamic range and the clipping points. The, gle the green are clipping points and the red are dynamic range. You can see down here, clipping point. 4.5 EVs dynamic range, 5.5. Okay, so we'll, we click set, save, and it's going to ask us for a name. And I'll just type Canon 70, 17 to 55 test. Okay, so we click OK and this will save here so now what we could do is we can load it what we do is we plug in our meter and you select the profile and click here and it will upload the profile you can edit or view the profiles we're in a single profile so this will tell you when you do your drop down menu so you can test you know different profiles so we we're set at ISO 100 it's telling you know your uh, dynamic range and your clipping points and you can look at it as a graph as you can see here, there's a breaks in this curve. So, you know, there were some issues with that, uh, those image captures, so, I believe. So I need to go in and reshoot them and shoot them in TIFF, actually export them in TIFF. I think uh, JPEG had a problem with or something like that. But anyways, I just wanted to show you, you can print them out. Um, you can look at flash, if you use flash or how you uh, use your spot meter. So this is the new software. So instead of having to pay for that expensive target, you can go in and create your own and uh, calibrate your light meter to your camera and lens combination. This is uh, not available for download anywhere. I got my hands on it at NAB. So uh, just to show you what it is, it's version 3. And I'll uh, update you as I test and see how accurate it is in calibrating the meter. I just wanted to share with you.
the actual software and how it works. Uh, also, you could do uh, create new profile, and we could do manual input. So we can actually go in and create our own values, however we want uh, for our meter to read. If we wanted to slide it down or or whatever. So before you couldn't create manual profiles, and how that could be useful is if you create profiles and read in the histograms of captured images based on the meter reading. Um, you know that could be useful to create a manual profile. Again, that wasn't available in previous versions of DTS, but it is now. Anyways, so this video is long enough. I think you got an idea of what it can do. Um, thanks for watching.